Problem one, how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word factor? Arrange is the key word. Arrange means to put in order. So to put in order means you're gonna be dealing with a permutation. Now here we have six letters in factor, and we're going to take permutations of the six letters taken six at a time. Usually in these problems, there's two numbers that you're using, but in this case, it's 6P6. Or in this case, 720. Remember, permutations and combinations are on the math menu, and then you wanna go over to PRB or PROB for probability. Number two, how many ways can you choose two jelly beans from a bag of 15? Well, here, this is going to be an example of the combinations where the order doesn't matter. We have 15 jelly beans and we're choosing two. So for example, if we're numbering the jelly beans one through 15, if you pick jelly bean one and then jelly bean two, that's the same as jelly bean two, then jelly bean one. So in this case, it's going to be 15 C2, or your answer is going to be 105 ways. Problem three, how many ways can five different textbooks be arranged on a shelf? So again, the key word there is going to be arranged. Arrangements mean to put things in order. So this is gonna be a permutation of five books. And here we're putting all five books in order. So it's gonna be 5P5 or 120 ways. Problem four, how many groups of three toys can a child choose to bring on vacation from a toy box containing 11 toys? And remember, when you do these questions, there's always gonna be two numbers. In this case, we have 11, we have three. And what you wanna do is you wanna make up a hypothetical answer. Let's, see, let, let's say the child brings the top, it's an old school toy, uh, the puzzle, and let's say a, uh, a game. Is that the same as if they bring the puzzle, the game, and the top? See, if you think these are the same, then you're gonna be using combinations. If you think they're different, then you're gonna be using permutations. Here, the top, the puzzle, and the game is the same collection as the puzzle, the game, and the top. Since we think it's the same, we're gonna be using combinations. So in this case, our answer is going to be 11C3. or 165 different ways. Problem five, how many different sets of six questions for a test can be chosen from a file using 22 questions? So here we're gonna have the 22 and the six. And if you think about the questions, if the teacher has questions one through six and they put them on the test, is that the same as if they put questions six through one on the test? For the, for the student, it's still the same six questions, whether they're written forwards or backwards. If it's the same, then you know it's gonna be a combination question where the order doesn't matter. So in this case, it's gonna be 22 C6, or 74,613. Problem six, how many ways can Laura color a map with four adjacent regions if she has 15 colored pencils? Well, here we have 15 and then four. And if you think about a map that has four regions, if I use red, blue, green, and yellow, if I have the same four regions and I use the same four colors, but yellow, blue, green, and red, these are two very, very different looking maps. 
It's the same four colors, but they're different when you switch the order. Remember, if you switch the order and they're different, then you're dealing with a permutation. So here we're going to have 15P4, or 32,760. Problem seven, how many ways can a teacher select five students from a class of 23 students to create a bulletin board display? Well, we have 23 students and the teacher is choosing five. And these are like committees. If they choose student one through five, it's the same as choosing students five through one. The same five people are creating the bulletin board. So if you switch the order, student one through five is the same as student five through one. If it's the same, we're gonna be using combinations. So in this case, 23 C5 or 33,649. Problem eight, a test is administered with 15 questions. Students are allowed to answer any 10 how many choices of 10 questions are there? Well, I have 15 and I have 10. And think about the questions. If you number them from one to 15, if a student answers questions one through 10, is it the same as if they answer questions 10 through one? Are the questions one through 10 the same as the questions 10 through one? Yeah, the student answered the same 10 questions. So when you flip around the order, it's basically the same test questions. So since it's the same, here we're gonna be using combination. So in this case, it's gonna be 15 C10 or 3,003 different ways. Problem nine in a contest where there are eight participants how many different ways can five distinct prizes be awarded? And really the key word there is distinct. If you have prizes one through eight, and if you're one of the lucky five people, if you win prize two, that's different than if you win prize four. So since you have different prizes, here it's going to be eight P5 or 6,720. But for problem 10, from a group of eight people, five will each win $1,000. Well, if you have these eight piles of $1,000, whether you get pile two or pile six, they're all $1,000. So it doesn't matter the order because the, all the prizes are the same. So that's going to be an example of 8C5 or 56 ways. Problem 11, a club elects a president, vice president, and secretary treasurer. I'm assuming that's the same person. So there's three different job titles. Now, in your notes, you should have written down that when they talk about job titles, it's always permutations. So here we're going to have 15 members and there's three job titles. So this is going to be 15 P3 or 2,730 ways. Number 12, a church has seven bells in its tower before church, five of, of the bells are going to be run, rung in sequence. Here's the key word, sequence. A sequence is the same as an order. So you have the seven bells, you're ringing them in order. So that means order matters. So that's going to be an example of a permutation. So sequence, arrangements, order matters. So 2,520 ways. Problem 13, how many arrangements? Again, that's a key word. When you see arrangements, that means to put in order. So you already know that's gonna be an example of a permutation. How many arrangements can be made using two letters of the word hyperbolas? 
Well, how many letters do we have in hyperbolas if you count them up? I think there's 10. So we have 10 letters and we're making arrangements of two letters. So that's going to be 10P2 or 90. Problem 14, a work softball team has 15 players on its roster. There are nine distinct, so that means different positions, which these players can be placed. How many different lineups? Again, to line up means to put in order. Since you're putting things in order, the order matters. It's permutation. So it's going to be 15 P. And in this case, it said there were nine players. So 15 P9. So here your answer is letter C, 1,816,214,000. Problem 15, from a group of eight people, five will each win $1,000. How many winning groups are possible? Well, again, since the prizes are all the same, the order doesn't matter. If you win the first $5,000, that's the same as winning the fifth $5,000. So in this case, it's going to be the order doesn't matter, combinations, 8C5. Or 56 ways. Problem 16. Of a classroom filled with 20 students, two will be selected to stay after school and correct homework for extra credit. How many ways are possible? Well, I have 20 and 2, and I'm choosing two students from the class. So if I choose Jill and Tom to stay after school, that's the same as choosing Tom and Jill. See, the order doesn't matter. Remember, if you make up an answer and then switch the order, if it's the same, then it's a combination question. If it's different, then it's a permutation. So the group of Jill and Tom is the same as the group of Tom and Jill. It's the same, so we're going to be using combinations. So this is going to be 20C2 or 190 different ways. Problem 17, to win the lottery. Again, lottery is one of those key words you want to have in your notes. Anytime you're dealing with the lottery, you're dealing with combinations because the order doesn't matter. A person selects six numbers from a collection of 50. So it's going to be 50 C6. This question here was nice. They even told you the order does not matter. But you want to write down in your notes that lottery is always combinations. So this is going to be 50 C6. Or it looks like here it's going to be letter B, 15,890,700.